Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Welcome back everyone, it is Season 3, Day 3, here on One Hour Limit Locked, and we are about to kick things straight off with our farm run here. Got a lot on the menu today, tons to get through, if we can. We are gonna need some compost from my man, and we'll note that. Cool, next one is gonna be the Arctic Farm. The invent is a bit of a pain right now, but usually I would do the bird houses first to get that stuff out of my invent before doing the farm run. That will be the plan. We just put ourselves there at the end of yesterday because it was convenient. I think I said seven minutes was my prediction for how long it takes us to do herbs and burbs. So far so good. I should double check and verify actually that the clean ones. Shit, the clean ones are actually worth less. Grimy granar. Shit. I shouldn't have been cleaning these. You know what, that's okay. We'll just go to the bank and bank the clean ones so I don't have to carry them around. Oh fuck, that's the wrong one. It was set to AIQ and I thought it was just like an L and I totally blanked. I was like, yeah, that's two out of three. I saw the A and the Q and just assumed it was the correct one. Ugh. Totally forgot we'd been down there for the uh, blow, right? You're gonna pop an energy recharge from the Explorer's Ring. We only have two per day currently, but we only have this thing on us during our farming runs. So it will actually save me from bringing a stamina now that I've got it. We're only doing one farm run a day, we only need the energy during the farm run. By need, I mean, have it on us. Wow, I keep cleaning these by fucking instinct. <sighs> we may as well pop that over energy. I think we get three per day once I've done the lumbridge medium, which we will be doing today. That is the first port of call after we finish off with our burbs and our herbs. There's a farm in the level, 35. After the Lumbridge Diary, we are going to be getting on with some other little quests to work on our woodcutting and mining a little bit. And then we'll be doing a little more woodcutting and mining training to prepare our Source for Legends quest, which will be the next big goal on the account. Quick little reset. We will get rid of the shit that we don't need as well. May as well just save the invent space. I forgot seeds. I swear to god, if, if forgetting those seeds puts me beyond seven minutes, it was looking like a sure thing. Now we only have 27 seconds. Alright, you know what? That counts as seven minutes. It's closer to seven minutes than it is eight, so... Time to go do some diary tasks. We actually have a slayer task to finish. Banshees, I believe. So we are going to go over to the Mauritania Slayer Tower to do that. I'm just going to do it with Melee because that's where we need most of our stats at this point. Even though it's not our most optimal setup for killing things. I feel like we're not going to need that much. Should be very easy. While I'm making my way to the Fairy Ring, I'm just going to make sure my quick prayers are set up. I actually don't think I need, I'll need Primelli, so... Oh, we do need earmuffs though, don't we? So, let's make sure we go into Canafis to the Slayer Master. Still got fucking seeds on me. I need to grab my Elks as well, just in case they drop anything. I don't think they do, but... Earmuffs, thank you. I, was, I don't know why I keep wearing this. It's basically nothing, isn't it? Oh! I don't know if I've ever seen a big one. Motherfucker was huge! Okay, I'm actually just gonna hop so I don't have to compete with this guy. But I'm gonna pick up his Renar weed first. Okay, combat potion, let's go. 16 to go. Very quick. 
feel like we might actually need just a little bit of pure essence to do the lava runes. I can't remember if we have any left over, but we probably ended up using it all when we did the water runes. So I'll grab this. We don't need attack. I think that's fine because we do still need a bit of attack XP. Ideally, I'd be able to only use one of the four Legends Quest lamps on attack and then the other three on defense. Last one. Okay, gonna go for a reset at Ferox. I don't think we actually have to do this next task. We just have to get it. We will end up doing it because Slayer is one of our goals in the near future. But we can bank our heavy stuff is my point. And I need to keep remember. I keep forgetting the Boots of Lightness. Or I did in the first two episodes of this season. I should have these on like all the time. All right, we're gonna go to the G first. No, we'll go to the, we'll go get the thing. We'll get the slayer task and then go to the G. I forgot the Alks. Kind of lot of nature runes in here. Okay, Cheldar. Actually, we have to do this as well, don't we? May as well do that while we're here. We'll be walking right past it. Good assignment, please. Lizards. That's gross. That is actually gross. I don't think we can kill grimy lizards in the pots yet. We can't even get them, get to them, so... Lizards is a terrible task. Do not like that one bit. I'll have to figure that out on another day. We're not gonna be doing it today anyway. I don't think you can do lizard men. I need the net, where's the option? There we go. Gives tons of jars as well, we can sell those. Noise the fuck out of me that you can't change it to push through. Uh, that, that you need to change it to push through, sorry. Oh, is it individual as well? Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we got uh, Essence Implant. Cool. I think that's all we needed here. Let's go to the GE. Destroy that. Just gonna get the stuff out that we've harvested today to sell. We spent quite a lot of money yesterday on jewelry supplies, so the cash stack is looking a bit lower than it probably should. But we effectively started this season off on... Why did I just sell all my amulet of glories? The fuck am I doing? What What the fuck? I'm an idiot. I mean, there's nothing new there, but what an actual idiot. All right, I'm gonna get some more nature runes. I'm gonna get some more mahogany logs, if I can spell. Woof! 66 a pop! And then I'm gonna get all the shit for this. Earth talisman. Uh, we don't need a banded necklace. How cheap are they? Ah, fuck it. One bridge is. Yeah, I was trying to say before I got distracted by my own glory mishap is we started on 500k effectively because we had a mill, but we put 500 in miscellaneous, which is still there slash in use. But the actual cash tag that we had like was about 500k, so we've already made a decent bit here. It's basically my point. I didn't bring a fire talisman and I don't have... A ring of wolf on me. I do not own a fire talisman. Why the fuck are they so expensive? Talisman's fucking 2k, but uh, tiara's 100. Oh, not even that. Almost done with this diary now. We are right on the cusp here. Now all we have to do is use this here. Perfect. Okay, back to Lumbridge. Get the reward from my man, and now we can teleport to the Drainer Cabbage Patch. I'm going to shove this on the wood cutting, because it's a bit of a pain, which gets us two levels, and then we are going to make sure we don't need anything in particular. I don't think we do for this. We just need an axe, which we can obviously get. Figured I may as well go do this little Valamore quest. It is very, very quick and easy, and it gives us 2k wood cutting XP. We do need 50 wood cutting, I believe, for Legends Quest. Got an upgraded explorer's ring, slots right in over the previous one. Don't need combat gear, we just want an axe with us. And we've already got our staff, right? Yeah, we don't need a tiara. And then we will go. The whole reason I unlocked Valamore in season two was for the teak spot where this quest is for these teak trees there's so many next to each other here i figured it'd be a great pro place to get wood cutting xp because finding teaks early on in a, an account is tough but not, not anymore 
because there's all these here. So yeah, that's the plan for woodcutting. However, we are gonna leave after we've done this quest to go do another one before we get the woodcutting levels. I am just space barring through all of this, of course, because we are on the one hour limit locked. We don't have time to read dialogue, but I fucking love this quest. It's a great, like this is one quest that I would I did actually read the dialogue for when I was doing it, and it was worth it because it's fucking hilarious. It's just a, it's just a fun little, a fun little time. It's much more fun when you do actually engage with what the story of the quest is. Otherwise, you're just running back and forth talking to people. But yeah, see you later, cuff. Excellent. That is the lily pad labor dispute done. I am just gonna chop one invent while we're stood here. I mean, I was going to drop an invent. It took me that long just to get one fucking log. It's a bit more like it. Was that first tree bugged? What's going on here? I don't think there's actually a spot with two where you don't have to move, is there? These two and these two are pretty close to each other. Ooh, bird nest. Seed nest as well. Maple seed. Okay, I got one invent of tea logs. Just going to slap those up. Not one of them. Fucking hell, man. I hate it when I do shit like that. Okay, so now I have one D clock. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> oh. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for this. This shouldn't be too long of a quest. It gives us some nice mining XP, some irrelevant crafting and fire making, and a little bit of magic. It also gives us the camulet, which will be nice for. Getting on to Ancients, it's quite close to the Ancient Altar. Although it's not as close if you don't have the diary completed for it, which I won't have. Uh, but it's still probably quicker than coming this way. Oh, I didn't get any of the granite or anything. I don't really have much invent space either. I don't have a wall skin. Oops. 32. Well, that's 6. 7, 8, 9. Do I have to use it on him? 24 more. There's that desert heat coming in. Okay, that's 20. We just need four. Uh, that's too much, isn't it? I need one more free space. I'll have to pick that up after. 20 kg this time, so we should be able to do this in one batch. So annoying that you have to go through the chat every time rather than just going, here's all my sandstone. I always go with camel, so I'm going to say my head. Oh, Okay. Camel is then. Okay, I think that's actually like the long bit done. The rest is just sort of puzzles, but we're doing a quest helper, so there's nothing to puzzle about. There is a few cutscenes. Can't remember exactly why we need these. I think you use them once you're going through the doors around the outside. Don't have a great deal of invent space though. Which one's the M door? In the right. Oh, we're meant to go this way. It's telling me to go this way. I don't really know why we need all these sigils, I'm pretty sure you can do just one of them, but I'm assuming you have to do the cutscenes, so I'm just following what Quest Helper tells me. Oh, I didn't need to go through that. No point running down there when I can just go to the middle bit here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna open... Can you open them from the inside? Yeah, I just wanna get them out of my invent. Oh, I didn't finish that chat window. Okay... We need granite, what the fuck? Okay, use bread. I'm guessing Lazim might have some for us. Fallen statue. Got any granite for me, mate? Okay, so there is no granite here. I'm gonna have to go and get some more. That feels wrong. I feel like I'm missing some granite somewhere, but it's not too far at least. I don't think we need the stone head, do we? It's not that heavy though, surprisingly. Firebolt. Windbolt. Puzzle solved. And there is Anakra's Lament. We are mining level out of it too. I think, seeing as though we're just here, it kind of makes sense to go and just mine some granite up top just for 10 minutes or so before the birdhouse run. Well, not 10 minutes, but 7 minutes, I guess. 
Ooh, it's going to be tight doing that before the uh, end of the day, actually. Yeah, this is the problem with the candle. We still have to go through the dungeon at the minute to get out of it. Can't remember which desert diary it is. Because we could probably do desert diaries pretty easily. Oh, we've done the easy one already. Easy. Oh, no, there's two quests there. Forgot. Don't have any more skins. Who gives a fuck? Okay, my invent is an atrocious mess right now. So let's just make things a little bit easier. Damn, I just took a 9 from Desert Heat. I don't think this is actually that great. I'm gonna go ahead and set myself up for a birdhouse run and do the iron rocks next to the birdhouses. What's the cash stack looking at at the minute? 1288. Is that mine? Uh, no, we don't want an evil bob. These ones are actually done. Oh, we got a medium clue. It's kind of exciting. Kind of curious what it is. We had another clue in the bank as well, so maybe we end up doing a couple tomorrow, just for funs. Yeah, this is way quicker than the granite slash sandstone was. I'm just going to hit rocks till there's like one minute on the clock. I think we just need 52 mining. Yeah, so we just need one more level to uh, have the requirement for legends here. Won't take as long at all. And then a few more wood queen levels. We've already got everything else within boostable range. I don't really want to boost some mining or wood cutting though, because... Well, I could boost the wood cutting actually. But the mining, I'm pretty sure you can get drained on it. So I'm going to have to bring restores as it is, just to make sure I can get through that section. Just realise what the clock was showing. I get distracted way too easily. The second I start talking, I immediately forget I'm on a clock. So close to a crafting level. Oh, that was close. Oh, -ho. that was too close for comfort. It is done now, though. We got ourselves six birds' nests for the trouble and an acorn. Wow, look at us go. Tomorrow, we're going to have to peg it over to the bank just here or go to Ferox and bank before coming back for another birdhouse run. And then a farm run again, obviously. Get on with some mining, some wood cutting. We're not going to be doing too much skilling this season. Most of it's just going to be this at the start, to be honest. I can't imagine we'll do a great deal of skilling after this point, but we do need to, to get the wood cutting up slightly higher. It's 44 at the minute, and we need 50 for Legends Quest. I think it might just be for the part where you cut the Yomi tree though, in which case it should be very, very boostable. I will look into it properly before tomorrow. We might only need like one more level is my point rather than six and we've almost done with the mine in there too so solid days progress 60,000 experience gain just a little bit of farming hunter as we get our standard 7k a day 9k magic crafting sorry as well there uh, that came from quests mainly tiny bit of attack tiny bit of slayer we did actually get a level there as well uh, 7k fire making 11k and 12k wood cutting and mining very nice big gains in both those areas things are starting to look good we've got about 1.3 mil in the bank and we'll probably get about another 300k tomorrow out of that so out of our herbs and stuff so we're get, getting towards the two mil cash stack uh we want six mil ideally before starting the combat training that's the goal if we can get to six mil before we start like million things then I'll be absolutely buzzing, but it's going to be a tough journey to do that, and I'm not sure if we will, but hopefully we get it relatively early. Farming's definitely helping. You can start to see it coming into effect more now as we get a little deeper into the uh, into the season. But yeah, that's going to be it all from me on this one. I hope you all are continuing to enjoy the series. It's been super fun so far getting back into the swing of things and I'm really excited for the rest of this season and what it's got to bring. If you are too, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it and leave a comment down below to let me know. Let me know you're having fun if you're about. It's nice. It's just nice to hear from people. I always feel warm and happy inside when I get a nice comment. Even when I get a nasty comment. Thanks for engaging. You're the best. <laughs> hit the like button as well too for all the YouTube algorithm goodness and 
other than that, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.